What's going on, everybody? Welcome to One Verse Thursdays. It's an opportunity for us to spend just a few moments at this midday hour every Thursday, diving into God's word, seeking for valuable truth and treasure from a single verse of scripture. I know that might seem uh, like an ambitious task because there's so much in scripture. From Genesis to Revelation, there are no shortage, short, there is no shortage of verses. And for me, that's a great, great, great thing. So I'm gonna give you a moment to jump on. I'm not sure if you're on your lunch break or if you have your headphones in and you're sitting somewhere in your house or maybe you are at the job being as safe as possible. I'll give a few moments for you to position yourself, to grab a piece of paper, to open up the notes section on your tablet or your computer so that we can hear together what God has to say to us. While you're coming on, I wanna thank everybody for journeying with us thus far in our B series. If you have not, I want you to go over to IGTV on my page after this and check out the videos we launched this Sunday where a number of colleagues of mine in ministry have been letting us know, helping us rediscover our spiritual identity, who God wants us to be. My conviction is that God does want us to know something and God does want us to do a number of things, but what we know and what we do should stem from who God calls us to be. So check out the B series. You'll see motivation and admonition and challenges to be honest, be kind, be faith-filled. And we have several other B episodes coming after this. Today, Pastor Novella Smith, she taught us about being kind. Whether you're a child, a teenager, college-age student, middle life, or near the end of life, these are all times to be kind. So check out the B-Series. I think that you will be blessed. In addition to that, I want you to check out the Living Room Podcast. We launched this past Monday with an episode with my friend, Claudia Allen. We had an awesome conversation. I'm looking forward to releasing the next episode this Monday. So check it out. Subscribe to the page, and I hope that you'll be blessed as a result of it. Well, let's go ahead and dive into our One Verse Thursday scripture for today. Last week, we started with Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. It's the very first verse of the first chapter of the first book in our Bible. And it teaches us that God completes what he creates. I hope you were able to rock with that verse, to roll with it throughout the remainder of last week and carry it with you today and even going into next week. God completes what he creates. Now, for those of you who are just joining One Verse Thursdays, you're just kind of getting on the board with us, on the bus with us, I want you to know that our philosophy here is simply this. One verse of scripture can change your attitude. And if it can change your attitude, it can change your day. One verse of scripture can change your heart. And if it can change your heart, it can change your life. So here is our one verse for this Thursday. It's a New Testament verse. Colossians chapter 2, verse 3. Colossians chapter 2, verse 3. It's one of Paul's pastoral letters, one of Paul's epistles, rather. Colossians chapter 2, verse 3. Here's what it says. In Christ are hidden all of the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. I'll say it again. Colossians chapter 2, verse 3. In Christ are hidden all of the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. I believe I, first was I was first introduced to this passage of scripture, passage of scripture, and committed it to memory when I was a high school student trying to swim through the waters of social affiliation, uh, trying to grow academically as a high school student, just trying to climb the ladder. And I was introduced to Colossians 2, 3, and it blew my mind. The language of this single verse was so compelling. I had never heard wisdom and knowledge and treasure in the same verse. But here is what stuck to me, that in Christ are all of the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. They're hidden in Christ. So it tells me that if I'm in Christ, I might have access to these treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Well, Pastor Martin, what's the principle? Last week, you told us about Genesis 1-1, and the principle was God completes what he creates. Well, what's the principle behind Colossians 2, verse 3? 
in Christ are hidden all of the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Here is the principle that I hope you can take with you into the rest of your day, that I hope changes your attitude and impacts your heart so that it might change your life. Your blessing is in God's bank. Your blessing is in God's bank. That word treasure depicts this image of a surplus of abundance, riches that are only in Christ. So that these are not just treasures that anybody has access to. It is especially for those persons who find themselves in a relationship with Jesus Christ. The blessing of wisdom and knowledge that God calls his treasure come when you have access to his bank and his bank in which he houses the surplus treasure of wisdom and knowledge is Jesus Christ. So do not cut yourself off from all that God wants to make available to you. His blessings of wisdom and knowledge, his bounty, his treasures are in his bank. I'll illustrate it like this. One of the blessings that I received when I get married, when I was married, and what, one of the blessings that my wife received when she got married is that we began to share what's called a joint account. If you know what a joint account is, just drop a comment right now, joint account. It simply means that whereas we have two separate spaces of employment, our payment or our compensation for being employees for our respective institutions sends our direct deposit to the same bank account. So that means even though my line of income goes to the same account that hers does, I can withdraw what I didn't put in. In other words, because I share the same account with her, she is able to receive blessings that are a result of my labor. And because she shares an account with me, I am able to withdraw from things that were a result of her labor. And so it is with Christ. When you, are, you and I are in relationship with him, we have a joint account with Jesus. And the treasures that he labored for and he worked for, we are able to withdraw from. So do you need wisdom? Do you need knowledge in relationship on your job? Listen, I am at the lunch break of school right now. This entire week, I've been in an intensive week of studies from 10 to 12 and then from two to four this afternoon. I'll be back in class. I need wisdom and knowledge. This nation needs wisdom and knowledge. This world needs wisdom and knowledge. And Colossians 2, 3 teaches us that in Christ are hidden all of the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. In other words, your blessings are in God's bank. And the only way you have access to God's bank is when you are connected in a joint account relationship with Jesus Christ. You are able to withdraw treasure that he labored for. Would you memorize Colossians 2, 3? Write it down, put it on a sticky note, put it on your mirror so that you can see it in the morning. Put it on top of your laptop or your desktop screen to remind yourself that your blessings are in God's bank. Colossians 2, 3, all of the treasures of wisdom and knowledge are hidden in Christ. I hope and pray that this one verse changes your attitude and your day. I hope this one verse changes your heart and your life. Don't be stingy with it. Share it with someone else that they too might have access to the bountiful blessings that come in a relationship with Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of One Verse Thursdays, OVT. I hope it's been a blessing. Share it with friends and family, and we'll look forward to seeing you next Thursday at noon Eastern Standard Time by the grace of God for episode three of One Verse Thursdays. Check out our B-series on IGTV and also the Living Room podcast on Facebook and on YouTube. Until next time, may God bless you and may God keep you as you meditate on this one verse. Peace.